and moving on on our Mexico expedition. The place that everyone is raving about. Tulum. We'll see. We only have a day here. We'll see if it's, if it's really that good, if it's a miss, if you just miss it or we should have spent like three weeks here or move here. Let's see. Extra point for Tulum. Very best, good breakfast. Yeah. The best that we have had in Mexico so far. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> to get around you need to rent a motorbike. Or a bicycle. Everyone's going around by bicycle. Because we are limited on time, we might rent a motorbike, so let's see how that works out. So, we're starting in in Mystica and the Archaeological Park. We bought the tickets online. Because they should supposed to be skipped the line ticket, so let's see how that works. Um, <sighs> we came here and... Yeah, will you explain? It's, it feels like a bit of a tourist camp, so parking here, parking here, parking here, parking here. Drive all the way that you can. And there's no ticket. They charge us 50 pesos there's for There's no ticket, parking. so I guess that is the price. Now let's go to Mystica and hopefully we'll be able to skip the line. I'm fine now. Hotelera up and down for 50 minutes already. Trying to go to the beach. Yes, and we cannot find a public, pathway public or access. Yeah, public access to the beach. The clubs look amazing, but for just a few hours, we're not gonna do the. We're not gonna pay the entrance fee. Fingers crossed.
Okay, Tulum. Meh. Maybe not our cup of tea, let's say. Maybe we should have given it more time because we didn't have time for Playa Paris and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I get the draw of the place, to be honest. So if you come for like a week. There are nice places, of course. There are very Instagrammable places. There are, yeah, expensive places. Also, yeah, I was quite shocked that it's not not the cheapest I was expecting the Bali of Mexico but okay okay we need to stop those two hangry Slovenians <laughs> it's amazing how much difference uh, great activity they can make yes. we gave Tulum okay. another chance and came back four days later yeah. the biggest draw now for me is the proximity to the cenotes where you can go diving yes not just diving for everyone who is not a diver you can also go snorkeling you can go just jumping on into a cenote it's a great experience if you don't do it uh, some other place in Mexico yeah you will see that in a separate video if you want to go to the beaches um, Playa Paraíso, Playa Santa Fe I think exactly don't uh, even bother with the zona hotelera because you cannot really go to the beach no it's just a small stripe of sand and it's dirty and it's not very nice there getting around uh, today we rented bicycles which I think it's actually even better than having a motorbike yes yeah. you can get farther and it's more convenient because sometimes you have to leave the bike at a certain place yeah. and pay for parking yeah. okay so yeah. Tulum on a second day it gave a better, better impression yes although still not a favorite place in Mexico but better than the first time yeah. see you next time we skipped the line twice. Twice. Oh. Sorry. Okay? I'm fine now. Yeah. My balls are not. <laughs>